fine. Go and get your picture took. Hold up your fingers. Stay there. It's not much of an animal, but I haven't got far to ride. Must be odd being out of those leg irons. Get on the horse when you're ready. It ain't time for you to ride off on your own. Not quite yet. Now come along. Ready? Wonderful. I hope you'll forgive the secrecy. My employer particularly values discretion. My name is Mr. Horley, by the way. Six months at Sissica Penitentiary, awaiting a hanging for a murder you did not commit. Must have felt a whole lot longer, my friend. You still seem strong, though. I mean, doesn't look like breaking all those rocks has left you entirely broken in body or in spirit. I hope I am right about that. Rounding you folks up in those sham trials, they were a disgrace. Made a mockery of the rule of law. Still can't quite believe they got away with it. There's others convicted when you were. Came out breathing fire. Maybe you're like that too. Guess we'll see. Or maybe you just want to put it all behind you. Forget you were in there at all. That would be fine, of course. But you will listen to my mistress first. She spent a good sum getting you folks out. You owe her an audience. You've been away for a while, so we'll help you get set up in the world. Then if you want to accept our offer, you can. You're just up here. There's the camp. Hit your horse. Tie it here. This way. She's anxious to meet you. <clears throat> Madam, we're back. Hello. Jessica the clerk, how do you do? What did you tell her? Nothing, as we discussed. Thank you, Hawley. I do hope we haven't inconvenienced you dreadfully. But seeing as you were due to be hanged in a week, I'm sure you don't object too strongly. I know you're innocent. Well, <laughs> not perhaps exactly innocent, but not guilty of what you were accused. I know you and those who were with you that died were little more than patsies, and that you were set up by one of three men or a woman, possibly by all of them. I can't be sure, but that is all I know so far. And one of these people also made Mrs. Leclerc a widow. And I will avenge my husband's death, so help me God. But I will not avenge it upon them who did not cause it, or caused it unwittingly. Oh, anyway, I'm sure this is all a touch confusing and melodramatic. Oh, where are my manners? Holy, please show our guests to their tent and give them some fresh clothes to put on. Very good, madam. Then serve us both a little refreshment. Certainly, madam. This way. You'll find a change of clothes in there, alongside a few other items you might need, a lasso, a knife, and a lantern, I believe.
That looks more comfortable. Hawley? Here, madam. Your very good health. I suppose it beats dying, hmm? Mrs. Leclerc's husband was murdered by one of his business partners. And I intend to find out which one. Or rather, I intend for you to find out. And kill them. You're the only person I could possibly trust to do whatever it takes. Because you and your accomplices, you're the only other victims of their lies still alive. You see, you walked into the town at approximately the same time my husband was shot in the back, but by another gun, firing different bullets to those you possessed when you were arrested. These bullets. This was their mistake. You were rounded up and sentenced to death, all because you came to town and didn't talk too much and seemed like you were nasty. Anyway, here they are. The people who run Blackwater. Mr. Jeremiah Shaw, banker, real estate speculator, and crook. Mr. Amos Lansing, ranch owner, speculator, and crook. Mrs. Grace Lansing, his wife, society patroness, lover of the arts, crook, and my former best friend. Teddy Brown, her disgraced brother, outlaw, wanted man, and still in contact with them. All I ask of you is your help in finding out quite what happened. Mrs. Leclerc would like to help you get back on your feet. Get back to work. Whatever your work may be, I don't judge. You want to rob? Rob. You want to save innocent folk? Do that as well. But you need me just as much as I need you. I think we all understand each other. I hope we do. Good. I look forward to rewarding you for killing those who made me a widow. My husband was a true believer in this country and in the West. He was killed for greed. Foul greed when there's quite enough for everybody. I don't care what your scruples are as to killing. I will take the full burden of that sin upon my shoulders. Goodbye, for now. Then, Hawley, go introduce her to nice Mr. Cripps. I think you'll like Cripps well enough. He's long past his prime, of course, but uh, he hasn't gone entirely crazy just yet. And he will help you better than most of his ilk. Cripps! <clears throat> Get up! Oh, hello, partner. Hawley? <laughs> this is your new boss. Oh, pleased to meet you, partner. J.B. Cripps at your service. We'll pay to get your camp established. Mrs. Leclerc is a generous benefactor. And, uh, where are we headed? Oh, and, uh, madam, while Cripps is establishing your camp, Perhaps you can go to the station and see the clerk, then head to see Clay Davies. He's a horse thief and uh, not a terribly nice one. Then meet Cripps back at your camp. See you shortly, boss. Good luck. Get on to the station. It's not too far. <laughs> Cha 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 Ah, 
差点跑步也像女生呢。他跟女生一样在跑步哦。不知道。He said you are also a discouraged creature. Now I will be honest. I try not to talk too much to women. I well, let's leave that. All that. That's me. But Corley insisted you was okay. I'm very discouraged. You see. Anyway, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Sort of. I find your reticence charming. Real charming. I heard you might want to earn a little extra money. Well, some gentlemen have been robbing our stages, and they are not part of the club. If you catch my meaning, if you can make them go away, I'm sure they will have something of interest to you. They're up in tall trees. See what you can do, okay? Here, by the way, a catalog. This is my mood, Luo. Hey, buy things you can take in your bag. And if things work out, well, my colleagues and I move around these stations as needed, and all of us are. 把书放在书身上是可以随时都可以购买、买东西用的。Information, even if you are a lady. Good afternoon, ma'am. 好像是，好像是哎，目录放在身上，随时可以购买东西。前往这个高速，高高高高高速，哈哈，再上去恰恰恰恰！哎、欸，我什么时候可以换新的马？这这这这匹马好烂哦、喔，一下就没力了。驾驾驾！这高速怎么那么远啊？嗯、哦，他又没力了。找藏身处，怎样？这样你不会发现我啊！走过去，走过去了。没。杀！杀死他！哎，为什么这样？呃，急杀了，急杀了！哦呦呦呦呦呦！哦呦呦！开打了！哦呦！我要装子弹
哦，这个图哎，哼，快走吧你！收到个宝藏图。搜查这个区域啊！哎呦，好远哦来来来，给你吃，给你吃，多吃点，多吃点，来。没力了。哎杀才十点经验值啊，好少啊！啊，尸体不见了，下面了。哦，啊，你要喂。这么好找，这也太好找了吧！打开一个宝物盒，技能卡兑换券。百七十发子弹哎！哎，我看一下技能卡可以干嘛。之眼
哦，火力集中，有点算是 buff 吧。启动死亡之眼石。嗯，这个好了，哇哈哈，这个头好丑，天哪，装备一下。配对嘞！我现在配对会遇到玩家嘛，对不对？那我我可以跟你们一起过吗？你们有多的人可以一起过吗？好，我寻找个玩家试试看，配对一下。过完一个任务，变成才可以变成公开战局哦。两个啊。跟别人组队好好玩哦，盗马贼，一有到。I'm Clay Davies. This is my brother, Clyde. He don't talk. Maybe you two get along better. Maybe not. Listen, I heard you wanted to earn some money. So there's a gang of ne'er do wells. They are a bunch of degenerates, not good people. They're out a man's a need a post with a bunch of horses they stole from me. <laughs> well, that's a lie, but they stole them off the fella I was going to steal them off of. <laughs> Maybe you could get them for me. You think you could do that for me, Pop? Oh, look! Here are your friends. <laughs> well, good. <laughs> Meet me at the stable in Blackwater once you have the horse flesh, and I'll pay you good. Oh. Pop Horley wanted me to remind you: any decent work you can find, take it. But just try to stay out of trouble. Oh, and once you give me those horses, well, after that we'll talk again. Oh, I do so enjoy these conversations. I'm used to them on account of my brother. Let's go, Clive. Yo, 准备了。<笑>有人还跑错边了，自己的马不认得啊，还是马都长一样。雷队友，被撞，不要撞我的马。不要撞我的马、啊
怎么会瞬移耶、欸？哎呦，我这右边。哎，至少我不是最后一个。Well, well, Horley was right about you, dead right, ain't that dandy? Get that horse hidden away, Clive, and ready to move out as soon as we can. Alright, here's the money you earned. Now listen, Horley came by and gave me a message. He said to go see your friend Cripps up at your camp. Now listen to me for a second. Any other decent horses you find, we'll buy them just as soon as we are set up, okay? Nice to meet you. You know what? Hold on, boy. I call him boy because I'm old. Thirty minutes, he went black. <laughs> Let's give our friend here back the horse. It's yours. A sign of faith and future business. If you want to buy any extras or sundries for the animal, head inside. They've got a lot available. See you soon. <laughs> Come on, Clive. 耶、yeah, ，赚钱钱！这匹马好烂，要买保险吗？买一下好了，免费的。去哦。馒头，哎呦，等级不够啊。对，我还在解前面的任务。我先拿宝箱跟，哦，已经抢完马了。对，我先要去营地后面。好，我等下出来再跟你说。我的营地有。How do you get on with Clay Davies? Horrible little wretch, in my opinion. 
pop this and pop that. I like to pop him, slime bucket. <laughs> anyway, I've got everything set up. Well, uh, what we have so far, place is pretty nice. I uh, think you did a good job for you. I'll earn my keep. When you get too old to fight, what choice have you got? It's either work or beg. I'd rather work. Oh, I saw Horley. Now, he wants you to come down and meet him in Blackwater when you get a chance. I think he might have some work for you. Oh, and uh, uh, while you're out on your travels, you may see some folk with uh, employment opportunities. Good folk, bad folk, looking for a tough guy with a gun to help him. Up to you if you listen to him, I guess. Uh, you know, I, I used to like that kind of stuff. At one time, I almost helped a clown steal an elephant. <laughs> but that's a very silly story. Welcome home. Make yourself at home. It is your home. Oh, the indie, how small. Wow, this gun is so cool. I think I can. I'm going to run a movie. Yay! Let's start the player choice. How did I join you? 